Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today, I'm in Las Vegas. All right, you're thinking Las Vegas? Isn't that the place where there's like degenerate gambling, hard drinking, hookers and blow and all that stuff? Well, it's a different place, guys. Today, I'm at the Park MGM. The Park MGM is a, like a fully non-smoking property and they got wholesome goodness and everything. Like this restaurant here called Primrose. It is designed like a garden party that's all nice and pleasant and uh, the hostesses out front they don't wear name tags because you're supposed to like already know who they are because everyone knows who everyone else is at this nice garden party right they're dressed like botanists or uh, farmers or something like that anyway they close in about 20 minutes so let's hurry up and go get something to eat primrose guys wholesome goodness Hello. Hey, nice outfit you got going on over here. Thank you. All right. Hi, one please. One? Yes, thank you. What name should I put on? Danny the medic. Okay. Are you putting Danny Danny the butt? What are you putting there? Uh, I put just Danny. Okay. That's okay. All right. Just wait here. They'll be right with you. Okay. Thank you. And that's the back of the outfit. Very botany. If you look at the painting, it is a garden party. Amazing. So as you can see, the restaurant is very garden party-ish. Garden party, guys. All right, guys, we're seated. So, let's see what's on the menu. The prices are pretty high, guys. My goodness, guys, they are $15 for a pressed juice. All right, I'm gonna order the citrus one so that we can see what that looks like. Pressed juicery, my goodness. It better be a glass this tall. You know, I, I don't know what's going on here. So, the juice I'm gonna get. Oh, hi. Are you the waiter? taking care of it. yeah my name is mark oh hi mark how are you doing I'm very well. great so i'll have one of your pressed juicery it's 15 dollars, right is the glass this big it's not no <laughs> no how big's the glass it's probably like i think it's like a 12 ounce glass it's in a bottle it's in a bottle yeah it's, it comes in from the local juicery every morning oh so it's not made here it's not pressed here oh okay so i have your citrus one citrus some ice water as well. Do you need some time to decide on lunch or any uh, questions? Yeah, I'll take some time. So I have your $15 bottle of juice back and the tap water. $15 bottle of juice, guys. It's not even made here. How dare they? Wait, let me withhold the judgment until I see it. But then he already said it wasn't this big. How is it $15? You're opening it. Ah! You didn't want to open it? Oh, no, don't open it. Don't open it. Okay. That way I can take a picture of the label and, and, and okay. everything. Like that? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Need some time My God. I got ripped off, guys. I got ripped off. This is terrible. Terrible. I think they sell this for $3 at the store. I'm just kidding. I don't know. I've never seen this before. It looks like a naked bottle of juice. I don't know, guys. We'll take a closer look in a bit. Where did the way to go? I might have scared them off. It's not like that or Raiders be like, oh, that guy's so cheap. He ain't gonna tip. I'm out of here. No, but that'll be wrong, guys, because I do tip. Usually at least 5%. All right, I've decided. I'm gonna get the waffle and berries. Terrific, guys. 
So, the $15 pressed juice that comes in a bottle from somewhere. I have to tell you the truth guys, I really feel like I got ripped off. But let's give it a try. It costs so much, I'm gonna take the rest with me. Press juice. Smells like swamp. I'll just stick to tap water. All right, fine, I'll give it a chance. I have a sip from the bottle, just in case it is the, uh, the cup that uh, was making it smell weird and taste weird. It actually smells better out of the bottle. Oh no, I'll take the waffle and waffle berries. berries sure. Yes, may I keep the menu? Of course. Thank you. Maybe a side of bacon or ham or anything like that? Oh no, just the waffle. Thank you. Oh wait, look, it's $15. I gotta drink this. You know, I can't waste it. Hello, say, say, say hi. To, hey, see, people do watch my videos. <laughs> I do. All right, so while we're waiting for the food, I'll tell you why I'm here today, right? So yesterday, I was downtown, shot a video. Then I went down to the strip, shot a video. Then I drank a bunch of Starbucks while editing some videos. Then I took the bus, went back downtown, and shot some more video. Right, then I went home and I was like, oh great, it's 2 in the morning, it's time for bed. I was sitting there at my computer desk and then I was just like getting ready to go to bed. I was so exhausted, guys. Then I looked down at my calendar and I said, like, oh my God, I was supposed to check in at the Park MGM to get the $50 resort credit. Now, you can't just not show up. They'll charge you $50 for a no-show. So I got dressed again. You know, because I ain't gonna pay no $50 for nothing. So I got dressed, went back to the deuce bus, took it all the way down to the Park MGM, and then the bus just goes right past the Park MGM because there was construction outside. I got off at the Excalibur, I had to walk back to the Park MGM, checked in at like 3 in the morning, looking like a degenerate who couldn't check in you know, at a normal time. The poor check-in person, he had to like, uh, make a phone call to reactivate something because the daily logs have been done. So now instead of one night of uh, Sunday night to Monday night, now I have like a Monday night leaving on Tuesday. Who knows these things guys? Yeah. So I ended up sleeping upstairs last night. I was so tired. I just crashed. I slept on the strip. 
Mm. Which is not a bad thing. Check out the room review. I have a video. Very nice room. Oh, thank you very much. Guys, the service here is too good. Oh, thank you. Wow. It's here, guys. I don't know. All right. Let's take a closer look at all of this. Let's give it a try. Oh, the syrup container is quite warm. Very warm, guys. Good tasting syrup. I'm just gonna split it into quarters. Okay, now I will try one without the syrup and one with the syrup. Here we go. Woo! This berry is really sour. Woo! Woo! All right. It's all right, guys. Give it a seven, right? Now, when it comes to waffles, I think that waffles are best when they're made and it's crispy on the outside, like very crispy, which was why I was poking it with my finger when it first came to test how crispy it is. Not very crispy, guys. So uh, I have had better waffles at the hotels I used to stay at when I traveled the country for work. What was it? Was it Marriott? Well, there was a hotel chain, right? You, like, it's, it, it, I made videos about the breakfast offerings where you kind of like, they got a waffle maker, you put your own batter, right? Like when waffles are fresh out of the thing and it's nice and crispy on the outside, that's the best, guys. I know that it's a certain time limit to that and after the crispiness is gone the quality level of the waffle just drops in my opinion right so this is a perfectly good waffle like a seven now let's try the one with the syrup you know it's like if i want this nice and soft i would have gotten pancakes mm. With the syrup is very nice. Eight with the syrup. Because with the syrup, you know, once you pour a syrup on it, it's no longer crispy. So it's kind of okay that way. That's yeah, pretty good, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. The fruit is a little bit unripe, but uh, that's not their fault. How's everything so far, sir? Oh, so far so good. Good. Thank you. So we are doing the last call in the bar in the kitchen. Is there anything else I can uh, add on for you? Uh, no, martini, but does cocktails? this place have a military discount? We do. Yeah. 
Oh, terrific. I'll make sure to, you know, ask for that when, when I'm done. When you're, whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. So the fruit not being ripe, you know, it's the fault of the supplier or the farmer or something. You know, it's not the chef's fault or anything. You know, what can you do? You order in the fruit, you give the customers the fruit. Okay, whoops, drop the knife, guys. Now, let's try with the syrup and the whipped cream. Here we go, syrup. I know I'm saying it wrong, guys. Don't, don't laugh at me. Syrup. Whipped cream. Yeah, I injured my finger. I injured my finger playing too much video poker. You know, repetitive stress injury. Ow, ow, I, got, I gotta stop gambling, guys. Because I was like playing low limit. What was that, 10 cents? I was trying to play 20 bucks worth. By the way, I have a new gambling channel. It's called Vegas Gambling with Danny the Medic. Link in the description below. You, you, you'll see, if you watch the video, you'll see like how many thousands of times I'm, I'm using this poor finger. I gotta figure out a different way to do things. All right, anyway. I didn't get any of my pants. <laughs> I lucked out on that. Whoa! I'm making a mess of all this whipped cream. Why are my utensils falling? With the whipped cream and the syrup. Mm. Together, it's a nine. Excellent. Very refreshing. I feel energized with all the sugar and carbs. I feel ready to take on the world. All right. Thank you for watching the video. New Vegas video every Friday.